Welcome back to part 8 of the Construct 2 tutorial to create a breakout clone. This time we're going to set up some power-ups to be released when bricks are destroyed. But first a few cleanup things from last time. I need to take my blue laser and I need to destroy that when it's outside the layout. I want to take my paddle and I always want to see that on the screen. So I'm going to add bound to layout there. And I really don't want any extra ghost images of explosions, so I'm going to add an event. When the explosions are finished, I'm going to take the explosion and destroy it. Explosion, destroy. Alright, now back to the fun. I'm going to insert a new object, add a sprite, and this is going to be the power-up sprite. So, maybe the ones I'll load, I'll load the ones corresponding to different balls right now. Let's see, there's one. That's a little bit big. Shrink that up. See the power up. I'll rename it. Power up. I need to add some behavior to it. In particular, this is a bullet power up. This is going to be moving down of its own accord. So the default speed to 150. And over here, I'll say whenever a brick is destroyed. And I don't always want to spawn a power-up, so I'll add another condition. Let's say I want to do it randomly, so I'll compare two val values. Um, just for testing purposes, I'm going to create a random decimal number between 0 and 1. I'll say half the time. Whenever it's less than 0 0.5. I'm going to have that destroyed brick spawn a power-up. So, let's see. I'm going to have this spawn another object. What kind of object? Power-up put it on top of everything else on the GUI layer. And that power-up, let's see, I need to say it's moving down, so I'll set its angle of motion to 90 degrees. And the speed is already 150, fantastic. Also, once this thing leaves the screen, I'd like to get rid of it, so I'll add another behavior, straight outside layout. Alright, so that'll create my power-ups. One more thing I need to do, how am I going to get a random power-up? Well, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to keep adding animations to it. Maybe I'll just add the ball animations for now. Let's see, I'll rename this as small ball. Normal ball. Large ball. Fire ball. Through ball. And I'll add the corresponding pictures for each. Let's see, normal ball, large ball, a fireball, and the through ball. All right. What I need to do is set the animation to be something random. So what I'm going to do is add another object. You've got a different couple of different ways you can store this type of information, but I'm going to add an array object called PowerUp Names. All right. When the layout starts, I'd like to load this with all sorts of information. So I'm going to add a new event. Just collect one of these. And this is going to be when the system starts. On start of layout. I really want this to be I like it to be up tall, up top. Sometimes it's tricky dragging it to a certain location. There we go. Add action. I'm going to first set its start pushing values onto it. So maybe um, it doesn't matter where. Small ball. Just edit each one of these. I'm going to run out of time on this one real soon. So we'll continue this in the next tutorial. Showing once you have this array, how are you going to choose a random value from it to set your animation? To find out, I'll see you at the next tutorial.